Remember the Essex gay dads and their five children? Now they're planning all girl triplets. Fathers want to extend their family using a Brazilian model and a British surrogate mother. As Britain's original gay dads, they are used to breaking taboos. Now Barry and Tony Drew at Barlow, who in 1999 were the first gay men in the UK to father children through surrogacy, have decided to have triplets to add to their four sons and a daughter. And, to ensure they have three girls to create a gender balance, they are using embryo sex selection. The process is illegal in Britain so the couple are having eggs tested in the US for implantation into a surrogate. The pair, who claim that there is too much testosterone in their family, will next week ascertain the gender of 10 spare embryos that have remained frozen at a US fertility clinic since their last pregnancy six years ago. This means the triplets would effectively be quintuplets as they are from the same batch of embryos as the couple's six-year-old twins, Jasper and Dallas. The twins' biological mother is a Brazilian model whom Barry, 48, and Tony, 52, spotted on a catwalk and persuaded to donate her eggs for £50,000. Despite the Druid Barlow's claim that the triplets will complete their family, their daughter Safran, 17, said her fathers are way too old for more babies. Barry rejects this, adding, There is plenty of life in me yet, look at Rod Stewart and Ronnie Wood, no one is saying they are past it. All our children are growing up so fast. My biological clock is ticking and I really would love to have more babies, as all too soon our children will be thinking about flying the nest. I need to have another princess in my life, or two or three. There's way too much testosterone in our house with four boys, Tony and I. The couple, who have homes in Danbury, Essex, and the US, were inspired to expand their family after Tony was diagnosed with aggressive throat cancer in 2006, from which he is now in remission. I've really had to talk Tony into it. Initially Tony felt that we've got enough children, said Barry. But I haven't been able to get out of my head that we have 10 embryos stored in a freezer and even though they are only cells at the moment they still feel like my children. They plan to implant 4 embryos, if enough are female, so they may even end up with quads, something he would be thrilled by because we are financially stable and we have plenty of love to give. The Druid Barlows made headlines around the world in 1999 when they brought home Saffron and Aspen. The twins celebrated their 17th birthdays yesterday. Biologically they are half-siblings. They share a mother but each father fertilized one egg before they were implanted into a surrogate. We used sex selection for all of our children. Orlando, 13, is Aspen's genetic twin but was grown in the womb of a different surrogate. Twins Dallas and Jasper, 6 were born from the eggs of the anonymous Brazilian model and carried by the second surrogate. The couple plan to name the triplets Milan, Paris, and London. We are a very modern family. It's complex, said Barry. We've used sex selection for all of our children and while some people don't agree with it or accuse us of playing God, I don't agree. I feel like I need more babies because I'm selfish. But I can give my babies a good home and good upbringing. Some people say I'm addicted to having babies and, weirdly, I think they might be right. Fatherhood has been one of the best decisions Tony and I have made. The couple's embryos are held at California Fertility Partners, a center run by Dr. Guy Ringler, one of the first fertility doctors in the world to help gay men have families. With an estimated combined wealth of £38 million from business interests, including their own British surrogacy centre and a clinical research company, money is no object for the pair. To create their family has already cost them more than £250,000 in expenses, travel and medical fees, though they claim their children's love of designer clothes is a far bigger worry. They have bought Saffron a Range Rover Vogue, even though she can't yet drive and given Aspen a Porsche. 
Berry, a trained social worker, said that if the frozen embryos are not suitable, they will pay the Brazilian model for more eggs as they want their children to be biologically connected. If she says no, they will hold auditions in Beverly Hills. The chosen woman would have to be gorgeous, outgoing, confident, and I'm not worried if they are thick. Beauty is more important than brains, I want all my girls to be gorgeous, like Saffron, he said. Tony and I can provide the brains from our gene pool. That's the amazing thing about surrogacy. I'm 5 foot 6, fat and not very attractive but as two gay men we are very fussy. The couple has already had an offer from a UK surrogate. She has confirmed she's willing to carry triplets for undisclosed expenses, which are capped at £15,000 in the UK. Tony added, I'm excited, but also nervous. I know I'm getting older, but we have been talking about this for such a long time that now is the right time to do it. But while their sons are supportive, Saffron said, they are too old. I don't really want any more brothers and sisters to be honest. The whole family should agree with what they're planning as they are going to be living with all of us. The couple are in talks with TV companies who wish to follow every aspect of this pregnancy, including the birth. Despite their happy family and the fact that the couple are fated in the gay community as a power couple, they have received thousands of threats by post and online. Barry said that, as a result, in many ways he would prefer his children to be straight, as he feels it is still easier to be straight than gay in modern Britain. Modern Britain.